Revolution Ghost Contour Stick. I got this out of Superdrug and it was literally about four pounds. And you get one side that's white and then one side that's black. And I'm gonna use the white. And I'm gonna put it all around my face. It's literally just like a cream paint. You can use any normal face paint as well if you want. But I prefer to use this. Just because it gives you like far more coverage and saves you having to dip in all the time into your paints. And then just take it in a wee fluffy um, eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to blend that all in. So I'm going to do this and then I'll come back to you and show you what it looks like. So the only trouble about that um that, that we go or the we go contour stick is that it takes a lot of time to work with it like to build up the the coverage so um i had to put like another two or three coats on before i got my face like a good wee bit white so um if you would prefer to use paints then just use paints and the next thing um, that I did was I did my eyebrows and I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow Pomade and Chocolate. And then I just primed my eyes using MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. And then I just went over my face with a translucent powder just to set everything so that when I go to do my contour and stuff that um, I wouldn't get cakey. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my first color um my transition color i'm using like a range of oranges and mix like two oranges together but i will um i will link every um every product again that i'm using on the description box when the video is over for you to go and check out um i'm gonna leave the uh, contour the contour bits to last because I want to do my eyes so blown out and smoky first and then I will get back to the contour so yeah I'm going to take my first two um my two oranges for my transition colour and I'm going to start in the crease and I'm just going to gradually build that up This is just going to be like my guideline of where I want to put the darker colours. And just so it won't be as harsh, etc. Blah, blah, blah. Whenever, um, whenever I put the darker colours down, that's how I, it's better off to start off with lighter colours rather than in straight in with dark colours. So, yeah. I'm just going to keep building that up until I'm happy and then I'm just going to do the same on my other eye and then I will come back once I've did that. So now that I have my both transition colours down I am going in with my darker colours now. I'm going to go in with Cherry Red from Ben Nye and Bitten from Makeup Geek and I'm just going to take that in my crease and I'm just going to keep blending it until I'm happy I'm not going to put any more on my brush yet until I've got my base coloured in either I'm happy with it or not and whatever's left on my brush I'm just going to pull the rest of that outwards to my outer corner of my eye then I'm going to go back in again with the Ben Nye shadow and the Makeup Geek shadow and I'm just going to keep repeating the same process so it's just really the same thing just building it up in the crease until you're happy with it and I want mine to be really really good dark burgundy colour so I'm just mixing both of these shadows together and they're the perfect combination for it 
So I'm just going to keep doing the same thing and then I'm going to do the same on my other eye. And then I will be back to these when I've did both of them. So I've did both eyes now and um, I'm going to go in with my brown. And the two browns that I'm going to be using is Americano and Bada Bing from Makeup Geek. I don't know why I mix two browns together but oh well. So same thing again. I'm just taking it to uh, my very last lash line or my very um I don't even know what I'm talking about today. My head is completely away. <laughs> I'm just taking it to my outer corner. And I'm just using a wee two three ones with a petite crease lux petite crease brush. And I'm just getting right in to the back of my eye. And the next brush I'm going to go in with is this we have a Lux Crease 228 brush. It's just a large fluffy brush and I'm just blending all that together. I'm not taking the brown the whole way into my eye just yet. Just gradually doing it and just building the colour up. But mainly focusing on the outer corner of the eye. Then I'm going to go back in with whatever's left on the brush that will put the um, Ben Nye shadow on and the other Makeup Geek shadow on. And we're just going to go back and over our colour just so it, it doesn't get destroyed on us. Then come back in again with your brown. Taking it to your outer corner again. Just like the two other colours before. Just gradually building the colour up until you're happy with it. And then whatever is left on end of your brush slowly but surely pull it outwards like you did with your other colours but not too much so it doesn't get destroyed and then go back in with the um whatever's left on the brush you use for your transition colour and just go back over the top of everything just to make sure everything is seamlessly blended to how you want it to be so I'm just going to go and do the same on the other eye and then I will be back to show you what we're going to be So far this is what it looks like close up and I just applied some false eyelashes and the lashes I used were Luxie lashes and these are in the style Coco and I'm going to leave a link down <coughs> in the description box when this is over of their Instagram page so be sure to check them out the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply some gel liner in my waterline and just on my lash line and I'm going to blend it out. Then I'm going to go in with um, the Makeup Geek Americano and Bada Bing <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with the um, Ben Nye Cherry Red Shadow and the Makeup Geek Bitten. And then I'm just going to go back and with a wee bit of the crop just on my on my waterline. And then I will get back to show you what it looks like. And then we will begin with the contour. So I'm just going to do a wee bit of time. With the dip off my eyes and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the contouring. And I am um, not actually using the, the, um, the black from the ghost stick. I'm actually just going to end with a tapered highlighter brush and um, I prefer to use these blush brushes or for contouring so just took a wee tiny bit of um the crop from makeup cake and I'm gonna use that now for contouring uh the black and then my cheeks um just be really careful if you're using eyeshadows just start off with a small amount and tap the always tap the excess off in the back you're on it's just um just because um the eyeshadows are so pigmented can leave you with like blotchy marks and whatever but I suppose like if it's for Halloween obviously because it's a Halloween tutorial um 
it wouldn't really matter. Next thing I'm doing is I'm just taking that legal stick again and I'm just going around um, and creating like a sharp line just to give me more definition and to clear up. Um, just to clean up the, the contour and then just come back in again not putting any more product on the brush getting in now with the Ben Nye shadow and the Makeup Geek shadow putting that on the cheeks also What I'm doing now is I'm taking my wee stippling sponge and um, I'm taking some fresh scratch blood from Crayolin and I'm just going to create like a wee scab at the end of my lip. Now I'm going in with Crayolin's FX Blood and this is in dark red and I have just took a wee q-tip and what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip it into the blood, make sure you get a good amount and just let it run down the side of your lip. Same again at the other side. And whatever's left on your stippling sponge, just going to create like a wee tip cut on your eyebrow. So that is the end of the tutorial and I'm sorry if I've been a wee bit laxy daisy today it's just because I'm literally so tired and this is just a wee quick and easy look for you anybody can do it um so yeah if you have enjoyed it um don't forget to like and if you haven't already please do subscribe to my channel I will leave everything that I have used listed in the description box below and don't forget to follow me on snapchat instagram and twitter and I will also leave them down below too but yeah until next time bye